Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. In today's episode, we will start learning a mini feature which is data binding in Angular 17. It's a very, very important concept of how data is stitched to, together from component to template and to CSS. Very, very interesting, very, very basic, very, very fundamental. And if you are a new developer here, you must know all these concepts. If you have missed out on the first awesome 22 episodes where I've covered a lot of breaking and new changes in Angular 17, make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master Angular 17 with me. Today, we are learning about data binding in Angular. Data binding is a fundamental concept in Angular that allows us to establish a connection between the application's data and the UI, which is the template or the user interface. Now, there are several types of data binding that are uh, provided in Angular, namely interpolation, property binding, event binding, and two-way data binding. In Angular, you will see some new syntaxes that we'll write, one of which is interpolation. All right. It's written between two double curly open braces and double curly close braces. Okay, this, this particular binding allows us to embed expressions in the template. It updates the view with the components data. Okay, don't worry about in detail because I have I will be dedicating each episode for all of this where we will we'll do lots of uh, use cases hands on activity. Today's topic I will cover only the high level theory so that you understand and then we progress into writing code. So remember interpolation is nothing but one way data binding where we will bind the component data which is from class to the UI. The second is the property binding. Property binding is also one way data binding that allows us to bind a value to bind the value of a component property to the HTML element. It will update the view with the components data. Property binding can be used to set attributes of HTML elements. It allows dynamic modification of element attributes. Similarly, there is one more way of data binding, which is event binding. Event binding is nothing but one way data binding that binds an event in the template to a method. I will sh I'll give you an overview of all this in the code right now, but we will deep dive uh, each one of this into the next episodes as we progress. Now, two way data binding. Two way data binding combines property binding and event binding. It allows data to flow from component to the view and from view to the component. Okay. I know if you are new here, these words may be little complicated or complex, but trust me, it's the most easiest thing. And I'm going to show you right now by creating some notes and explanation. I hope that should help you understand the basics. All right. So this is episode number 23. We are learning data binding <clears throat> all right so let's close this here we don't need this today all right so data binding so remember there are one way data binding and there is two way data binding all right now in one way data binding the first one you will see is called interpolation okay this means you are Binding, if you, if you open any component, you would see four files for it. Component, spec, CSS, and HTML. So one way data binding means from component class to template or you can say HTML. Now you can see this is the component. This is the template. Okay. HTML is your template. This is the class. Okay. This is the class because you write the class here. So this is a component. This will be for each component. Okay. Open any component. You would see these things common component spec SCSS HTML. Now interpolation means from component to template. You are mapping the data and displaying data in the template. 
same way you have property binding now property binding means in the template you will have some html element let's say you have html element link here now this is a property right same way if you open say input <coughs> input type equal to text here type is the property same way if you say div class equal to c1 here's class is a class is a property okay so think of it like an attribute okay property is nothing but an attribute now in this case when you say property binding you are saying from component class to templates elements property or attribute okay now <clears throat> this is the second the third is event binding now what is event binding these in the HTML or the template you might have some events that you want to bind let's say dev on mouse over right this is an event and we'll say uh, highlight highlight record right so what is this this is a event right event is nothing but javascript event it can be anything on mouse over on input on blur on click on drag on leave on drop on focus on error on key up call key load down on play pointer any of these is an event you are binding an event from component which is again your class to templates elements event okay event or anything that you interact with these are the three different types of one-way data binding we will do more and more hands-on coding as we move in the series today's topic is to explain you what why two-way data binding means data will flow back from template that is from html to the component and vice versa so it means data will flow from component class to template and and back from template to component class okay when i say template the html or the ui whatever you call it okay all right so see data binding means from component class from component class to the html remember this one line from component class to template property binding means from class to templates property okay or the attribute event binding means from component class to templates event two-way data binding means data will flow from component to template template to component why because you will need you will need data from user in terms of say forms right you might your application will have dynamic forms where you want to collect the data send it back you might want to do some um, you know data mapping from component etc it can be anything there can be many use cases but most importantly think of forms let's say contact us from add a new user edit a user where you need to set, collect the data from user send it back to database so you need two-way communication from component to template template to component right i hope the concept of data binding is clear because in the next episode we will start implementing all these things that we discussed now starting next episode i will first show you different use cases of interpolation then property binding then event binding and then we'll do two-way data binding okay i hope the concept is clear because like i said in the next episode i'll cover data binding, one-way data binding, interpolation. I'm trying to cover each topic in Angular 17 in detail for you so that you can learn and master Angular with me. I hope you like the series. If you do, please do hit that like button, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.